So one of the first things that you need to look at when developing an application is the splash screen. As you can see from the application we developed, it has a white screen when it starts, then it loads the first frame. And so we need to make sure that we fill up that white screen with something else. Now this main file is the entry point for our application. So what I would usually do in the past is I would start by uh, putting init state, then put a function called run something. And in this function, I'll run whatever. So in this function, I'll run whatever I want and then navigate to the other screen. So in this case, I just wanted to blend in with the white screen. So on this container, I would put the color white. Then I would put a loader or text here or an image to blend in with the white screen. Then after it runs this in the init state, it then navigates to the other screen. So it would show this, whatever you put here, in the meantime, then navigate. But unfortunately, this doesn't solve the problem of the white screen. It only helps in blending with the white screen. And so we now want to see what options we have when we want a real splash screen that eliminates the white screen. Now to achieve this, there's this package called Flutter Native Splash. You can get it from PubDave. This is one of Flutter's favorites and it's used by many people, which shows that many people like this package. And so you can check out pub.dave for any of the recommended packages that you'd want to use in your Flutter application. Once I do this, I'll just take it, paste it in my pub.spec under dev dependencies, and I'll put version 2.05. Then after I do this, I put another tag, which is similar to this. Indentation is very important in Flutter, so you have to check that. Then this tag is for the Flutter native splash, and I'll put the image, and I'll reference assets logo, which is an image I put under the assets folder under my project structure. Then I'll put the color of the background, which is white, this is the hex for white, because my logo is white, I just wanted it to blend in. Then once I do this, I'll then get all those packages. Now that that's done, we'll then copy, we'll then copy this from the website and uh, the exact link for the Flutter Native Splash, paste it under our terminal, and run. Now the process is completed. One thing you need to check though, if you've already created these assets, then you might just need to clean your app first and get the packages before actually running that command. But this is all that we need to do for the moment. And now let's see what our app will look like. Now that the app is done running, we'll see what the output will be. And there, as you can see, we have replaced the white screen with an image before the first frame actually loads. And so this is very good. One of the major challenges you realize, especially with this package is, you can't really change the size of this image from this tag. You would have to change the size of the image itself manually, which means that you'd need to put a good size for the logo here so that it fits on all screens because on some screens it might appear smaller than on other. Now there are some other cool attributes to this where you can denote whether you want the image to be centered on Android or on iOS and so this is pretty cool. You can fill up the whole screen, you can put it on the center, you can make the screen full there screen. There are other attributes like dark mode and so other you can stuff. check out the link in the description and you can get a whole load of other attributes there. Now let's say you don't want the color but you want a image background. Let's let me just comment this and I'll say background image which is another attribute also of the Flutter native splash. Then I'll reference this image which I've already put under my assets folder. It's this image and so that's the image that will come out first that will come out behind. Now after the logo. doing this I'll just have to run those commands again. Pub run and create the splash screen because right now the splash screens or the assets that are there are the previous assets. 
then once it's done replacing let's run our app and see what it will look like and now that it's done running let's load the app and see as you can see it has a background image and then the logo so it has worked now as a bonus let's just say that there's something that you want to do maybe before you actually load the first frame maybe there's something you want to take from an api or something like that you would need to bind the widgets after doing that but if you paste this code which you can get from the website itself as well if you paste this code and you want to import this you see that it's not there the reason being we put this under dev dependencies so in order for us to actually import it you would need to put it under dependencies and then after it's done you can then go here and you can say import then you import it so it will preserve the splash screen for as long as whatever you want to run uh, you know is completed then after whatever you want to run is completed you then have to put this which is to remove the splash screen because it will preserve the splash screen until whatever code or whatever fetch uh, command is completed or after running you then do this then navigate so after doing this you then first run whatever you want then after that you remove the splash screen then you can navigate to the next screen and that will be done all right okay so let's just talk cons for a minute because one thing you need to understand with this is number one that for some reason you have to use like png files of course they say four pixel uh, density right make sure they're four pixels so that they can uh, look nice on all screens of various screens but you have to say that sometimes the image might stretch especially if you do not put the correct dimensions on the image so that's something you, you, which you have to check and we already mentioned about this where you can dynamically change size here which means this logo must be a good size and you know have a good density so that it can appear also like with a it can also appear big on other screens as well which might not be as small as this but you know which might be which might have a great height but just a minimal width and so that's also something then another thing which you want to consider is this doesn't cater for complicated images for example this is just simple like splash load but if it's a complicated image then the best might not be to put the image here but rather to just use a background or you can say image but instead oh, of just comment this then you can make sure that the app is full screen and the gravity for android will fill the screen and on ios as well it will scale to fill the screen which means it will come out as a big picture so you just put your picture with the complicated structures there then it will just fill the screen of course this again has disadvantages because on some screens it might just stretch just a bit but it will do the job in removing the white screen then again you can't really put moving images like uh, gif or other moving structures on the splash screen that's not yet supported but you know this is pretty cool as it is especially if it serves the purpose then also lastly just as a cheat maybe this then also lastly just as a cheat maybe what this simply does is as you can see from my terminal here it updates the xml files for the launch background which is already which will be already declared when you initialize the app for the first time in the android manifest as well as in the ios um, as, a, as well as for ios right so one thing you need to understand is all they are simply doing is updating this xml file and in ios updating the launch story keyboard so you can edit these if you have xcode or android studio you can actually edit these on your own which means you wouldn't need this package uh, but however you know that's the purpose of packages they make work easier and great for us and this is a really really great package 
which many, many people use. Even me, I've now started using this because this is an amazing way of eliminating the white screen. But let's say you don't want to use packages like some people or many packages. You just want to do it directly. Uh, although it's the longer way, what you just do here is if you have Xcode, open launch story keyboard and you can edit it from there. If you have um, Android Studio, you can open this XML, edit it from there and you are done. Like if I open this in Visual Studio, it will open and as you can see, it will just show you exactly what was there, like the background image, which is this, and it, it was filling the whole screen. Then the logo, which was the splash, it was put to the center. So it's more like I just edited this, uh, this file and just made it to work uh, uh, on its own. But this package does the work for us and it's pretty cool and it's pretty great and it actually makes the work easier for many developers. Okay, so tell me what you think. This is the end of this tutorial. Next on, we are going to be looking at more in-depth code. Make sure you subscribe. Peace out.